BMix 27 and onwards incorporate Zoom so that you can host or join a Zoom meeting within vMix itself, then add individual participants to your production and stream and or record the results. You no longer need to screen capture, route virtual audio cables, or use NDI feeds and NDI webcams. Hi, I'm Heath from vMix, and I'll be showing you how to get this feature up and running fast. But if you want to learn even more, check out our complete Zoom demo linked in the description. Here, I've got a basic production setup, and I want to connect to a Zoom meeting. I just need to click on the Add Input down here, and then click on Zoom. From here, I can see that I don't have the Zoom plugin installed yet because this is the first time I'm using it. I need to click here to download. This opens up a web browser and I can click the link to download the latest version of the plugin. With that done, I just need to install it. I can now close down the browser, return to the interface and add the input again. So I'll go to Zoom once more and click on OK. I've now got a new Zoom input and to connect it, I just need to click on it. Clicking on it opens up the Zoom plugin interface. Now I need to log into my Zoom account. And here I am back in the interface and I am logged in. So I have two options here. I can either join a Zoom meeting or I can host a meeting. If I choose to join one, I just need to enter the meeting ID and password and my name. Alternatively, I can paste an invite link if I've received one. And if I want to host a meeting, I'll click on that. And here I'm presented with all of the meetings that I already have scheduled in my Zoom account. I currently have two. I'm going to pick the top one. If I wanted to, I could also create a new scheduled Zoom meeting by clicking on this link, but there's no need to do that. I've already got one set up. OK, here I've got the meeting ID and password. I can share them with my guests later. And I've got a place to enter my name. So I'll put in my name. Next is the capture mode. So I can either select recording or streaming depending on what I'm doing. And this will inform all of the Zoom participants that we're recording or streaming the event. So I'm going to select recording because that's what I'm doing right now. And finally, we've got the maximum resolution. This is the maximum resolution that your guests will come into vMix. I'm going to select 1080p because my Zoom account allows for this. Yours may be less. And so I recommend that you check your Zoom account settings for that. I'm going to leave these next settings as is, but you can have a look at our main Zoom demo to learn more. Click connect and away we go. So we're now connecting to the meeting and once connected, this is turned blank because there's no one else in the meeting currently. If I right click here, I can open up the Zoom manager. Here, I get a little bit of detail. I get details of the meeting. I also get my list of participants and I get some details across the top that we'll cover in a moment. Ah, oh, okay, so now I can see that Ben T has arrived, who's one of my colleagues. Ben's connecting to vMix via the Zoom app, and he has HD set for his camera in his Zoom video settings. And he's also turned on the blur effect for his background. So I can see that he is there, and he's listed in the participant list and has popped up in my Zoom input, as you can see down there. If I right click him, I've got a few options, but he's already added as a Zoom input, so there's nothing to do there. Uh, down in the left corner, we've got a chat box, and up in the top, we've got his details. So he's coming in at 1080p and at 24 frames per second, which is pretty good. So we'll close that down and put Ben in the preview and turn on his audio. Hi, Ben, how's your morning been going? It's been good, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Now, while you're here, I'm just gonna show people how to add us both into a double box. So I'm gonna go to add input and I'm gonna click on virtual set. I'm gonna scroll down until I find something that looks good. Maybe this one here, click okay. Go to setup select box one and I'll put my camera in there. And in box two, I'll put Ben's zoom input in there. We'll put that in preview so that you can see it. And there we go. That is how you can add a zoom participant into vMix. Now, if you have any questions, definitely check out the full zoom demo video. 
And if after that you still have questions, check out vmix.com. We have a lot of support resources there. You can also email us from there. So that's the end of this video. I hope it was helpful and I will catch you on the next one.